Yeah, good day, Bob. Here I am in Central Australia, having a look at this big red rock here. This thing's been standing here for a million year of years in the desert, gathering dust, and it's known as Ayers Rock or Uluru by the local Aborigines. There's a question since the dream time, and the question is, is whether this rock is radioactive. And for that, I'll come out here and bring the Geiger counter to have a bit of a look at it and see what we can work out. When you're eight down here, I've got the Geiger counter on the lowest setting just to get a reading of the background radiation and sort of between. 0.1 and 0.2 microsieverts an hour. This is just to sort of establish a baseline near the rock here. Anyway, the best way to get a measurement is to actually approach the rock and get up close and personal with this thing. Anyway, here we are at the western end of a rock, and I'll just do a quick reading check here. And it's actually up a fair bit. It's, it's nearly 0.25 microsieverts an hour, which is a lot higher than where it was at the car park before. Okay, here we are, right on the side of the rock here. And I've just got the meter down here. Getting much higher reading, so off the scale, so I'll have to change 0.5 range. Still maxed. 5. Oh, here we go. So it's nearly 1.5 microsieverts an hour on the base of the rock itself. And I'm just assuming that the rock is probably made of some sort of granite or something containing uraniums. So it's probably got a you know, significant amount of uranium in the rock itself. So probably camping in the caves and things wouldn't be such a good idea because of the radon gas that may accumulate. Whether the rock would be good for mining the uranium out, I don't know, but, but yeah. Pretty interesting little study here.
no worries guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more strange videos.